Hey guys, this is Dee. I hope everybody is having a lovely day. Um, I wanted to make a video this afternoon. Um, it's going to be kind of a chill one. We're going to relax a little bit and it's just a little chat and it's about respect. So it's about how you respect yourself, how you respect others and how you command the respect of others because you deserve that. Everybody deserves that. And it's something that um, it, it isn't as always so obvious obvious in how to gain the respect of others and sometimes it can feel quite challenging especially if you don't know what they respect and what they value so this is the this is the deal is that in order to have people respect you you have to know yourself more than anything the most important thing is that you know yourself let me put a lamp on it's kind of dark it's getting dark in here it's better yeah so it's that you know yourself you know your own values you know your own belief system and that nobody can sway that that's the most important thing um, you have to be able to identify what you're willing to do what you're willing not to do what you're willing how far you're willing to go for others or in any situation um, I mean this can apply to your work it can apply to your personal life with family and friends. It can apply to your dating life or your romantic life with your partner. Um, and no, just knowing yourself and having boundaries, strong boundaries, and knowing what they are and being clear on them is the very best way you can convey that you value yourself and that you expect to be respected and treated with respect. So... That's the very first thing. And that is, that's the first point. So I'm gonna make three points about respect. And one is respecting yourself. The second is respecting situations and how you respect others in situations and respecting others, which will reflect back on how you're respected as well. Because it does go both ways. So in situations, um, I think the best way to demand respect yourself is in how you behave and how you how you treat others you can't ever control how other people are going to behave but you can always control yourself and it's very important always in a, in a in a situation where maybe there's a challenge or maybe there's a disagreement that you respond and not react there are two very different things reacting is thoughtless it's emotion based it is it's not based on your true beliefs and values. It's, it's an emotional response. Whereas, whereas responding is well thought out. It is considering your, yourself and your values and your thoughts and your beliefs and your, your knowledge and experience. And it is responding and including all of those things. And someone who responds as opposed to reacts is much more likely to be respected and have their response respected which is what you're trying to achieve um i made notes here just to make sure i don't forget anything make sure you're investing in people who are willing to invest in you make sure that you're not investing you're, you're not spending so much time and effort with someone who as soon as there's a challenge or a difference in an opinion they're gonna get up and walk out of the room like they're gonna they're gonna cut and run <laughs> like there's there's a lot of people who as soon as anything comes up they don't know how to deal with it they get angry and they either get angry and they blow up or they get angry and they walk out they're not willing to sit there and say hey i disagree with you on that but i value your opinion or hey i never thought of that that way that's an interesting perspective that's not that's new to me like i i really never considered that perspective um, you might say like it's not for me, but I totally understand where you're coming from and these are all respective responses in in a conflict or in a disagreement as opposed to getting angry or emotionally re reacting to whatever the situation is. So that's also important. The third one is respecting others and a big part of respecting others again is going to come back to respecting yourself and respecting boundaries and making your boundaries known, making your beliefs known and your values known because you cannot expect someone to play within those rules and to value those and respect those if they don't know what they are. 
It's very difficult. You're asking someone to play a guessing game. And per, like particular, when we're speaking specifically, let's say about dating and men, they can't guess. They're not mind readers. So we need to tell them, like, I'm not willing to do this. I am willing to maybe do this. There's a hard no and a soft no. And, you know, maybe we can talk about this. Or maybe it's something for the future, but not for right now. Um, all like being able to express your boundaries, express your belief, like express your beliefs and your values is very important. And that shows them that you respect them enough to share that with them. So at least they, they have that opportunity to decide if, to decide if that's something that they want to get involved in or not get involved in. And that's showing them respect and courtesy. Um, and in return, you'll be respected because you've given that respect for the most part. There's people who, there's complete jerks out there that just don't give a damn and they're gonna treat you with disrespect and how you respond to that is gonna be your choice. My best response, that what I, what I, what I prefer in most situations, if I've tried my very best, I've been understanding, I've been relatable, I've tried to, I've, I've verbalized that I respect where they're coming from, but they wanna be a real jerk about it, I just take myself out of that situation because you, there's no there's no compromise in that situation. There's no mutual respect going back and forth and therefore there's no future for that relationship as far as I'm concerned or at least that exchange at that moment. Sometimes I'll say, you know what, let's have this talk like tomorrow or like let's have this talk after dinner. Let's do it in a couple hours or another day and maybe that's how you handle it. That's a good one. I've done it with my kids a lot. That works with my kids, so the way I respect them. If they're really, really angry about something and they're having a total fit, I'll say, you know what? We will talk about this, but we're not gonna talk about it right now. We'll talk about this in like, we'll talk about this in a couple hours or we'll talk about this after dinner tonight, but we're not gonna talk about it at this moment. So you have a chance to go do whatever you need to do and calm down and get yourself in the right frame of mind. And then we're gonna have a good chat and we'll figure something out. That works really well with young, with, with young adults. Um, I, I assume it would most likely work with older adults that are losing control a little bit too. So, but I mean, respecting others in that way it is the best way to be respected back. Um, the best way, if you're struggling with respecting yourself, I think you need to know yourself well. That's the very first step in all of this, is knowing who you are and knowing yourself. Self-talk is huge. You need to value yourself. You need to be able to convey that you value yourself and it's hard to do if you don't feel that way. So self-talk is huge and we all do it. We all talk to ourselves. We have constant self-talk going on in our minds. Make sure you make an effort to control that talk and be be mindful of it and be, be what's the word I'm looking for? Be, um, there's a really good word for this, intentional about it. Be intentional about the things you allow yourself to think about yourself. Be intentional in how you talk to yourself. So like if you need to every day wake up and the first thing you say is like, you are valuable, you are a strong woman, you can get through anything and today's gonna be a fabulous day. If you need to say that to yourself every morning and that helps you, then great, do that. But be mindful of it throughout the day and be intentional in the things you say to yourself. And if you catch your mind, if you catch yourself slipping and getting into that negative talk and negative reinforcement within yourself, be, bring yourself back. Bring yourself back to the, to, to the present, back to the mindset that you are valuable, you are worthy, and you deserve to be respected. And that is, that is very, very helpful to, to keep bringing yourself back to the, to the present, to the present and to that mindset because that's how you're going to be able to um, like to be able to convey a, a constant and continuous and consistent message that you deserve respect and you deserve to be respected by others. And that's what you need to do because you do deserve to be respected by others at all in, in all situations. And I'm not talking about earning it by the way you dress or any of this garbage. Like it does, none of that matters. You deserve to be respected and you are valuable and you are worthy of it. No matter how you express yourself, no matter how you choose to present yourself, you are you deserve to be respected by others, no matter what. That's it's like a it's like a, a no a no-go situation there. Like it doesn't matter what the circumstances are. 
you deserve respect and you have to respect yourself and the way I've come to increase my like I had a, I had like I told you before um, I had to do an overhaul on my life a little bit. I didn't have a lot of respect for myself. I didn't value myself more likely. I did respect myself. I didn't see a lot of value in myself. And I did a lot of things to change that. And part one of the things I did that was to show that I valued myself on the outside was how I presented myself on the outside. And the outside's only part of it. That's only a little bit of it. I made sure every day that even if I wasn't working, I got out of my pajamas. I got dressed. I put on something that I felt good in. If someone came to the door, I could answer the door and not be embarrassed or ashamed of what I was wearing. Um, those things made a big difference for me in how I felt about myself more than I expected. I expected that that would be a little part of it. It turned into a big part of it because as I started valuing myself enough to put time into myself and effort into myself on a daily basis, I started to feel like I was worthy of that. And feeling worthy of that is, it's a huge one when you haven't for a long time. It really is important. So um, those are really important, important parts of it because it's hard to feel like you deserve respect if you don't feel worthy. So that's all. I don't want to make this video a huge long one. I just wanted to talk about the most important things in that. And that is that, that you are worthy of it and you need to respect yourself. You need to convey respect in all circumstances, in all experiences and situations that you find yourself in. Those are opportunities to convey respect and to allow yourself to be respected by others and to, to allow that exchange to happen. And in respecting others as well, no matter what. And um, aside from any other factors, just because they're a person and they deserve to be respected as well. And respecting yourself is a great way. The things you do in respecting yourself is a great way to respect others as well because it gives them the knowledge of what you expect, what you need, what your needs are, what you value, what's important to you. And it also gives them the freedom to share some of what their needs are and what's important to them with you. So you know what's expected of you as well and how you can treat them with respect and what's most important to them. So this is a, this is a, an ever changing and an ever changing thing depending on who you're with and what your situation is and it's something you always have to be mindful of and um just make it make it important in your life to to always make sure you're being respectful to others and that others are being respectful to you and all if all else fails and you can't have someone you can't convince somebody that you are worthy and you can't get them to treat you with respect and walk away from that situation for a time, a period of time, um, whatever that may be, whatever's appropriate for the circumstances, and come back when they're more open to um, to that conversation and to um, to maybe being a little more cooperative and you know being a little more understanding of your needs. You know, that's all. So. I hope everybody has a great evening and a great afternoon and I hope everybody is working hard on respecting themselves and conveying that to others and um, loving themselves and making sure you have a lot of good positive self-talk going on to ensure that you're, that you're constantly aware and present and you're, you're respecting your own self aside from everybody else that you do value yourself and that you are aware and you're always conscious that you're worthy. That's all. So I hope everyone has a great evening and that is all. I will see you guys soon. Take care.